Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not really getting the Pinterest earnings. Like the numbers weren't that good, but okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess it's a new leader. Yeah, momentum leader maybe. No, I'm gonna get my new car in a couple of hours. That's why I'm gonna do a shorter uh, stream today. These queues look really good. Pretty much, uh, Nasdaq is pretty much uh, breaking out of a high tide flag. <laughs> I mean, we could go parabolic from this little flag here in the Nasdaq. Maybe 320s is the next next target. 320s, 310s, pretty amazing. All right, so let's see. SRNE gapping up from yesterday. I sold a little bit pre-market, raised my stop a bit. Chew me at this thing, uh, I mean, from a low eight, it's now closing, yeah, closing in on a double. VIR found support, undercut them uh, the 20 day a couple of days ago, and now it's trying to reclaim it. It's holding fairly well. DDoc gapping up a little bit. AVLR gapping up. Peloton, well, pretty much everything I'm long is capping up, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. B, A, and the one I'm short is not really gapping up at all. The two sh stocks I'm short are not gapping up. So that's a good sign. What's GBTC going to do today? 12.35. So it, GBTC is going to open up a little bit too. Uh, yeah, I missed Fastly, unfortunately. And Net also. Damn, those two. This is TC2000. This is my sharding platform. And so it's just this, there's no confusion. This is just a sharding platform. I'm not trading off of it. Boom. So I am gonna watch some stocks opening range highs. Um, Pinterest, Tesla, Twitter. This Twitter is flagging nicely after its earnings. The 20 days starting to catch up. Um, I'm also f still watching like AAL and UAL and stuff, or not UAL, RCL save for potential breakdowns. Like AAL, this thing is strongly bear flagging here. Big, big bear flag with lower highs and big range here in the 11, low 11s area. 
There's gonna be a lot of alerts triggering out of the gate due to the gap. Like Square, man, I sold it yesterday. I, I just... Oh, that sucks. That just sucks. Maybe I'll buy it back. It's breaking out of a big high flag, high tight flag here. Uh, it's still kind of just consolidating. It's been just grinding higher. Uh, you know, if you can get it early, there it could be still be a good setup there. DT looks like it's gapping up. This is the one that reported earnings a couple of days ago. Had a flush, built another higher low, undercut the 50, then reclaimed. So now it looks much better than it did before. Roku looks like a very good short report very soon though. Again, Tesla, Tesla is not really gapping up a lot, considering, like Tesla has been showing relative weakness. But if it uh, starts to reclaim this mid high 50, like 1540 area and hold, you know, this thing could have a big run. This thing could go to 2000. I'm definitely watching it closely. The TTD has a good chart too. They report in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Tesla long. Uh, I may buy Pinterest. I'm I'm gonna watch it. I just uh, I just don't see the beauty in the report. Wait, I need to see it again. There was no big beat or anything. Okay, the beat revenues a little bit, but ARPU is down. And you know, I just I don't know. I don't see the beauty. Even though the short is really good and the revenue, or sorry, the volume is already, it's traded its average daily volume in pre-market already. So, you know, it could definitely go. I'm going to, I'm going to trade it. Like if big, big volume comes in out of the gate and it acts well, I will, I will, I will buy some. I'm not going to go crazy on it, but because I'm already kind of heavily long a bunch of stuff. And again, I'm also watching Tesla. Uh, FRT, uh, there's absolutely nothing here. Ignore FRT. Stick to the momentum leaders. Yeah, NET, someone mentioned it yesterday. Yeah, it looks really good. Very thin stock, though. Short covering on pins. Doubt it. I don't. I doubt there's a lot of fun short pins. Shorting is just a few percent of the market. You, you don't want your stocks to go up because of shorts. You want to, your stocks to go up because there's buyers coming in. Oh yeah, Roku looks obviously very good also. No, overstock is not a short yet. It needs to go up another at least one day, 90 plus or something. That would be great. Then it could be a short for next week. But right now, there's nothing there. Yeah, so I'm going to watch Twitter... Pinterest, Tesla. We'll see. There's going to be a lot of alerts triggering in the first few minutes. I don't look forward to that. Why not just buy before earnings? Well, go ahead. Start buying stocks before earnings reports. See, report back what will happen. That's uh, that's gambling, not trading. And 
We are traders in this room. No, no gamblers welcome. Let's keep the shatter to the to minimum the first 30 40 minutes. Wait, what? Don't tell me e signal is lagging. Okay, never mind. It was lagging, but now it's not lagging anymore. So far everything is building a red candle for now, which is good, which means not everything is triggering at once. Okay, here starts the alert fest. Oh, Jesus, I can't even do this. There's just so many things going on. I bought 40,000 Pinterest. It's just a small starter position. 40,000 shares. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe double up if it starts acting well, but I'm not sure. It feels like it's gonna fade. Or maybe not, we'll see. Right now it looks weak. UAL is having follow through from yesterday on the short. Okay, looks like things are fading right now, right out of the gate. All the stocks I was watching are fading. Except for Square, wait. Squ well, okay, never mind, it's fading a little bit too. Okay, I got stopped out of Pinterest. Just what I was afraid of. There was a big gap up too on it. A lot of things are acting really well though. Like the ones some long previously, these things are going straight up. Square just took out the highs of the day. So that one is strong.
TTD is firming up a little bit. So Tesla is now, you, it looks like this 1500 area, is, for now it looks like it's a support area, which is good. It's a good sign. Because so we wanted to build higher lows on the 60 minute chart if, if this thing wants to go to 2000 eventually. That's exactly what we want to see. I, I shorted a little bit uh, AAL. This th this bear flag, it just looks so powerful. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I may be completely wrong, but it's just a very tight stop. It's like risk uh, 15 cents to make three, four dollars. That's pretty much how I see it. Bunch of earnings reports today, but I just didn't see much intriguing stuff. A lot of things were gapping down too, even though they had decent numbers. Like Vertex and Team. Nope, Tesla looks like shit. No. Just lost that 1500 area for now. Looks like we got a gap and crap in the markets. This China name, BDD, very strong. Why is this random China name strong and everything else is kind of fading from the open? SRN is going straight up. Did they have a PR or something? What the hell? This thing is up 22%. Oh, they got upgraded at HC Wainwright. That means an offering is coming, I guess. I I'll have to I'll have to sell a bit more. It's almost up like 8% since I sold the piece pre-market. Uh, Shuey, yeah, Shuey had a breakout yesterday. Shuey had a breakout yesterday. Jesus, PDD, wow, it's strong. I was long this thing for a couple of months before. I should, should I buy some? Uh, three. I'll buy a starter on PDD. I'm I'm not really wait. What are markets doing? Are we cap? Okay. Uh.
Is it a good shot though? Hmm. I would prefer more sideways, I guess. Wow, now the airlines are really starting to break. Yep, AAL is now breaking down. I'm probably gonna short some save too. The airlines are all weakening here. Uh, China queues. Uh, oh well, they're just in a range. TTD is also really strong. Man, I really like the short on TTD. Maybe I'll do TTD instead of uh, PDD. Save is about to break down from a big, big flag, bear flag. TTT range bound, it's just breaking out of a little bit of a flag here. And it's showing relative strength, that's a good thing. It's just a continuation breakout, or potentially. Nothing guaranteed, obviously, but I think it looks good. It's not a the type of setup you can buy and hold for several months. It, it will be more like uh, maybe hold for a week or two, uh, or, you know, I don't know. It depends, obviously, what the market does, but... Okay, so I bought... Uh, let's see, what's the risk? 4437... I bought 6,000 shares TTD. I bought 6,000 shares. That's big spreads. That's like a dollar spread. That sucks. Yeah, save is breaking down. Wait, I have... Or I, I sh no, I already, I already have like 6 million in airline short exposure. I'm not going to add more. I have a decent position. B, A, U, A, L, and... Oh, wow, U, A, L. Nice follow through from yesterday. And A, A, F. Should I add some save? Mm. Yes, I will. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I'm going to do a small position. Okay, it's a much smaller position than the other airlines, I'm short, or airline related stocks. I did 50,000 shares of so this save. These things are just so weak. PDD is going straight up. Why the hell is that PDD going straight up? Man, I missed that one, I guess. Okay, Tesla is uh, almost red on a day. It's still showing a relative weakness. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Again, like I said before, once it resolves from this range, either breakout or breakdown, it's going to have a three to $500 move in a, in a few days to a few weeks. It's going to be a big, big move. So that it's, it's going to be like Tesla is my main watch either way. 
It's just impossible to know right now where it's gonna break. Roku looks strong now. DXCM. This is the one that reported earnings a couple of days ago. And I took a loss on a starter, but now it's starting to look good. I need to cover some UAL into this flush. Small. Yes, back. I sold it pre market, man. I mean, I, I saw it first. It was up in pre market. And then I got home from the gym and I, it was down like low 13. So I sold it out in the high 12s. Took a little bit bigger loss than I had the <laughs> planned for. I had planned for like, I had like a maybe $20,000, $30,000 risk on it, but I ended up taking a $55,000 loss. Just, you know, had I got, got home like five minutes earlier, it would have saved me like 10, 15,000 easily. Okay, Roku looks, looks really strong. Beely is now trigger. Okay, now things are starting to trigger. This Roku, I will, uh, I need to buy it. I need to buy it. I bought 16,000 shares of Roku. This thing is so powerful looking. Holy shit, this thing looks so powerful. Okay, now things are starting to trigger one. Oh, PDD going straight up. I oh, passed on that one. And Macy's, another weak stock in a big bear flag is breaking down. Okay. Interesting. So the strong stocks are going higher, the weak ones are going lower. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Jesus, PDD straight up. I should have bought this one instead of TTD, I guess. TTD looks like he wants to go to 500, so I'll be fine, I hope. Roku, the only problem is Roku is they report on Wednesday. I hope they report on Wednesday after they close. Now things are starting to trigger one by one. Tesla is still weak, it's barely bouncing. Well, a lot of the stronger names are triggering one by one. Dexcom looks pretty decent. They just reported earnings. This thing wants to go to 500 plus. I just, I'm just running out of buying power. I'm heavily, heavily long right now. Nineteen thousand, uh, nineteen million in long exposure. I, I think I need to chill with the buying here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not gonna buy anything else. I, I, I need to probably size down uh, before the close. Zoom, uh, zoom, uh, zoom. I really like. This thing has some regulatory stuff. I think Senate is something is going to investigate with their China connections or ties or whatever. Uh, and you know, it flushed and reclaimed, built another higher low. It didn't even touch the 50 day and it went closed in the range. And now it's hovering right before the breakout area. I think next week this thing is going to be powerful. This thing is going to be uh, 300 plus. 350 plus in August. I really think so. It's one of the biggest growth stories out there right now. In, like in the entire market. One of the biggest growth stories in the entire market. If not the biggest. So that's pretty powerful. Uh, 
<clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with my portfolio right now, except for the fact I sold Square yesterday. And that other one, Okta. Yeah, Okta, man. Got scared out of them. What a stupid thing to do. That's what happens when you break your rules, you know. You either take bigger losses than you should have, or you miss out on profits. That's what happens. Peloton, I should probably sell some into strength. This thing is straight up selling a tiny piece. Like every like three to four or five percent on these momentum leaders so i'm selling a piece especially now that we've already had an extended run in the market so I'm, I'm selling a bit more aggressively because i don't think any of these stocks are like multi-month holds from here maybe a week or two but these are kind of getting a little bit extended many of them <clears throat> Now also moving some stops pretty aggressively. Codex looks great. Looks like it wants uh, to have another higher leg, leg higher. It's been building higher lows for the past couple of weeks. Same thing with APT. This thing has been, it bounced perfectly off the 10 day yesterday. And now, you know, this thing is gonna, this thing reports on Wednesday, no, Monday. Uh, I think this thing will go back to 30, 40 bucks. Their earnings has to be good, really good. Just like OMI, it's gonna be blowout. Airlines still weak, exactly what we want to see. That's the best type of market when your longs go up and your shorts go down. Okay, uh, things are calming down a little bit now, so I'm gonna get to the chat. Oh man, you guys have written a lot of stuff. Um, may I know your starting capital before you reach millions? A couple of thousand? <laughs> you can start with every amount you want. You're gonna get to a million eventually. If you follow... Uh, setup that works if you trade a setup that works and follow your process uh Anderson gaming uh let, let's uh, let's keep the chat in uh sweet and uh, english but yeah i'm gonna do a swing trading school uh starting starting next week <clears throat> SRNE, sorry they have an active atm all right I'll keep it as long as it keeps going up. Nete, did it break out? Uh, yeah, not really have a lot of juice yet. <clears throat> uh, no, I'm not in workhorse. I'm not in workhorse. I, I bought it twice yesterday. I actually lost 200k almost on it yesterday. <laughs> I did some huge size. I had it twice with 150,000 shares. Uh, but obviously it kind of failed <laughs> so far. It closed weekend, so I, I was not going to hold it overnight. And now it's weakening. Let's see if we can hold this uptrend line. Uh, which one has no sales? Nicola? 70 billion? What's 70 billion? Are you talking about Zoom? Zoom has uh, Zoom is one of the biggest growth stories. Yeah, Zoom is the growth story I was talking about. What's the price range for the school? It's for free. I I'm gonna make all these idiots that sell all these trading courses and have the, their, the, all these chat rooms, I'm gonna bankrupt all of them because none of those guys make money trading. 
And once they uh, lose their customers, they're going to go bankrupt every single one of those frauds. Uh, I use Centerpoint Securities. Centerpoint Securities is my broker. Yeah, well, eventually I will have to get uh, uh, moderators in the room. Like, if we get another couple of hundred people in here, I won't be able to handle it <laughs> alone. It's going to be too many people. But yeah, it's gonna be for free. I'm not gonna charge. I make my money trading. My, I make my money trading, and that's that's it. That's that. Like a lot of people, new people in the chat are here because of my 1.5 million loss dollar loss a couple of days ago. Like, there's a reason I, I can afford to lose 1.5 million in like half an hour and not really be affected by it. Because I make money trading. Or at least I make a lot of money trading. <sighs> I hope I didn't jinx myself now. <laughs> I, I probably jinxed myself. I hate when I jinx myself. Oh, Chumia, time to s sell some small pieces. Uh, let's start this uh, uh, sh uh, swing trading school right now. I'll show you one perfect setup. One I mean right now, one I'm tra one I traded real time in this on the stream. This right here. Uh, can we get this one exact one candle? No, I can't. I I can't get to this one. Can wait, can we? Okay, now. So here it is. Okay, you have a up trending stock. Okay, it's up two hundred percent. Just goes up, up, up. Then it pops on high volume goes sideways, gets really tight. It's just surfing these 10 and 20 day moving averages. And then it starts breaking out. This is like a mini mini flag. And this is like a very hyped stock. It's the hyped like uh, Amazon, Square and PayPal of Africa, right? This is a great setup when you have a big momentum stock. Now this is a, like a micro cap stock or small cap stock, but it doesn't really matter. And you have a, like a momentum leader. This is a momentum leader. Like it was one of the biggest winners from the March lows. Starts flagging, getting really tight as a high volume breakout. That's exactly what you look for. You know, memorize this pattern. This pattern will make you millions. Trust me on that one. And now look at it. It's up like 60%, 70%. Yeah, that's true. I only jinx, uh, jinx myself and jinx the markets when I show you the PNL, when I show you the positive PNL. That's true. A and uh, what I was going to say, uh, so what you can do, like, sh like most of you that have small accounts just starting out, you should probably sell like partials on th you know after the first three to five days okay you should probably sell a third or half after three to five days and then the rest you just trail with the 10 day moving average as your stop like the closing of the 10 day moving average if it closes below the 10 day moving average that's when you sell the rest okay and uh, many of the shorts i bought today the stocks i bought today they're all momentum leaders uh, let's see, I bought TTD. It's the same principle. Look at this thing. Big, big move. Consolidates. Finds support on a rising 20-day moving average. Gets it gets tight, tighter. Like the past week has been really tight. Starts building higher lows. And then breaks out of this range. And same thing with Roku. Okay, had a, had a big, big move. It goes sideways. Flags. 
and then breaks out. This thing actually reminds me about Zoom earlier this year. This one I also bought, but I fucked it up. Roku reminds me a little bit about Zoom about uh, back in February. Same thing. Exact same pattern as Chumia. You see this? That's a big move on above average volume. Has a big vo uh, volume candle here. It goes sideways, consolidates for a few weeks, builds higher lows, finds support on a 10-day. Sometimes they find support on a 10-day. The slower ones find support on a 20-day. These are the t uh, purple and yellow lines. Uh, <clears throat> you can also see it here if you uh, have uh, trouble with the colors like the purple is a 10 the tw uh, 20 is yellow and look at this look at the move it made and now it's you know 250 bucks it's the same patterns like you have to th these are patterns these patterns they occur over and over again they they happened in the 1910s in the 1920s in the 1970s 1990s and they also happen now it's just a like a basic market structure that's how strong stocks act, usually in several times in their moves. They build these flags. If you learn that one pattern, you will make millions. You will make millions. And this is one of my basic strategies. I use uh, three uh, uh, like setups, and this is one of them. Yeah, Investors Underground is legit. I like Nate. He's a good guy. He, they, they're not frauds, but they're day trading a lot and scalping a lot. I'm not really a fan of day trading and scalping and stuff like that. Uh, Kodak re-entry for what? Opening range. Wait, what's the question? Opening range lows. Uh, look, this thing is gonna fade back to ten bucks. Uh, I think. You know what? There could be a. You know what? That's actually a good idea. I like the Kodak idea. That's a set risk reward. Thirty-three cent borrow. Oh, here, nineteen cent borrow. No, wait, that's 20. Wait, 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 wait. No, 3 cent borrow. Oh, that's pretty cheap. I'm, 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 I'm borrowing 60,000 shares of Kodak. I'm going to short Kodak. Fuck this shit. This thing is, like, obviously it may not go down today, but I think it will go down. I'll take a starter right here. The SSR is on, so it's uh, kind of hard to get fills into weakness. But this one is, uh, it could very easily go to like 20 bucks today. I mean, the, the move higher was nothing but a squeeze. Like it, it was up on nothing. It, it's just a pure momentum. Just like LFIN a couple of years ago or a AQXP um, three, four years ago. Those were two that I remember that made the same type of move. Uh, also halt, halt, halt on day two. So I, I mean a 20,000 share starter on Kodak. <clears throat> you know what, I'll do more, I'll do more. I'm not gonna go full size yet, but... Wait, those who, who, the, who did a long in workhorse swing? Like, there's no reason to be in it unless it takes out, starts breaking out of the 17, low 17s area. Like, right now, it's just, uh, you know, it may be building another higher low, but, you know, you gotta use, you know, have an exit strategy. Usually, my exit strategy on the longs is the low of the same day. Like, if you look at TTD, which I bought, my stop is at the lows of the day. 
Same thing with Roku. Same thing with... Uh, wait, what, what else did I buy? No, those were the two I bought. Uh, yeah, well, swing trading works best in uptrending markets, but absolutely you can swing trade in sideways markets too. How did you first make your money, the first three to five? I was mostly, well, it took me two years to start making money. I lost money the first two years. I blew up like three, four times. But the third year I started making money, or well, second year, I guess. What is the name of this setup? Uh, just a breakout. Well, if I had 2000 live viewers, yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. I would, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess I could trade stuff like AMD and, you know, these ultra liquid stocks, but, or Tesla. Oh shit, Tesla is so weak. Wow, this thing is so weak, man. This, is, this thing is gonna go to 1200. What? This thing is just so weak. Unbelievably weak. Yeah, the high tide flag, the bull flag patterns, those are very powerful. MRNA, uh, yeah, it is kind of a, looks like you want to break down, but I don't, I'm not really a super fan of shorting it. There's just so much support right below. Of course it could cut through, but... Maybe on uh, next week if it starts breaking down. I, I don't want to hold. I wouldn't want to hold it short over the weekend. But this is intriguing because the insiders are just getting out. They are all selling. Like their chief medical officer doesn't own a single share anymore. He sold all of it. Have you considered quitting? Why would I quit? Yes, I started with uh, day, uh, day trading. When I started, uh, well, I, I had like, well, w w way below 10,000. I was trading around with three to 8,000 for many years. I'm not gonna sell the setup. I don't give a shit. It's called a breakout. When you've been losing money, yeah, absolutely. It, it always sucks being in a big drawdown. I've had many big drawdowns over the years. But that's the difference between those who make it and those who don't. Like those who make it, they don't give up. They just keep coming back until they succeed. Yeah, now the markets are... <laughs> yeah, what a big gap and crap in the markets, huh? Holy shit, I need to go short Tesla. This thing is just absolutely, unbelievably weak. I wish I had shorted a bit earlier. Maybe when it went red or something. This thing is... Wait, it's at yesterday's lows? 1471. Okay. Oh, man. I'm short 2,600 shares of Tesla. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more. Jesus, this thing could go to 1,200. This is, it's showing big relative weakness, and it's about to lose the rising 20 day. This thing hasn't been below the 20 day since early Mar, uh, early April. The stock is up like 200% since. This thing could easily unwind to the 50 day to the 1100s. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, Kodak, I'm not in full size yet. I, I only have, let's see, 35,000 shares. Fuck, I missed the ad. 
I, I wanted to, I have 60,000 shares located, so, you know. Okay, I'm shorting more Tesla here. Oh. I'm gonna use a fairly tight stop. I'm gonna lose a, use a very, I'm not, definitely not gonna use like a high of the day or something. Because that would be a very, like, either it breaks down or it doesn't. But it still needs to take out yesterday's low. Oh, it actually took out yesterday's low. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't see that. Okay, so I'm short 3,900 shares of Tesla. Uh, this, this could be a million dollar trade I have on the hook here. If it actually goes down to 1,200. May not. Well, if it closes weak, I'm gonna hold the full position. But I need to sell some longs right now. Uh, let's see, how are my things acting? SRNE. You know what? I'm gonna use today's lows as my stop for SRNE. Jumi, I did move my stop higher. Roku looks like it's kind of fading a bit now. We'll see. W holding up. Uh, yeah, TTD is. The today's breakouts are kind of fading. But let's see how the Nasdaq acts. Like it's above the uh, 20 day, rising 20 day IGV, the software ETF. Oh, actually, this one actually lost the 20 day. Uh, well, we'll see. Like IGV, if IGV builds another higher low, we'll see how we'll see how we how we close. Like a weak close, that would be not not be a good thing. That is not something I would like to see. Raising my D dog stop pretty aggressively here. Raising all my stops. I don't want to mess around, especially if we get a weak close. I'm going to sell a lot of long inventory if we close weak. Uh, but my shorts are acting well. So if we close weak in the markets, I'm going to sell a lot of my, 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 these breakout trades like TTD and Roku. Even if they don't stop me out, I'm still going to sell them. I would want to risk like a weak open on Monday. Maybe I'll short some CCL, RCL, these cruise lines. I'm actually more like skeptical of this, this cruise lines than the airlines. Like I think one of these cruise lines are gonna go bankrupt before any of the airlines, but what do I know? So maybe I'll short some more of these things <clears throat> if we start fading later, you know, if we keep fading into late day and stuff like that. Okay, I need to catch up with Twitter, so I'll be quiet for a few minutes here. Okay, now I see that there may be data on... And NVAX, look at this. The CEO hasn't sold a single share versus mRNA that has been sell, like All the insiders have been selling en masse. That's why uh, NVAX is so strong, I guess. 
shows confidence, shows the management, the insiders have confidence in the in their vaccine. I think this Kodak could easily go to sub 20 today. I'd like look to add, if it retests the VWAP, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I really wanna get the 60,000 share position in it, but I, I don't wanna go crazy. Because again, it's an emotional, I still have a little bit of an emotional attachment and it may be clouding my judgment. So I, I'm not gonna, you know, I wanna be careful. <clears throat> Looks like Microsoft wants to test the 50 day. Yeah, so far things are pretty weak. But that, this is good, like when you get weakness in, an, in a bullish uptrend, you see which stocks are holding up. Those are the ones you want to get long when, you know, when they start breaking out, if they hold up very well during a market weakness. Relative strength is very, you can clearly see the relative strength um, when the market does something like this. Uh, w, I need to sell down a bit more. As things are, yeah, also raise my stop a little bit. No, I'm gonna raise my stop to break even or so. Okay, TTD looks like this thing will stop me out potentially. Too bad, it, it looked so good. It was really like a four and a half star setup. But you know, sometimes when a market doesn't agree, it doesn't matter how good the setup is, it's not gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, Tesla, I'm looking to potentially add more to it later. Oh, BA going lower, very nice. Again, Tesla, we'll see. It could do an undercut and reclaim of the 20 day, but so far it's been, hasn't been done any, it hasn't done anything other than show relative weakness the past three days. You can clearly see it like NASDAQ has been building like 
higher highs right, that actually gapped up big today and it's still green on the day. Well, Tesla has been building lower highs and actually broke down today and barely gapped up on the big gap up in the markets. That's clear relative weakness. That's just textbook relative weakness. Workhorse, if it closes weak, could be a short setup for next week. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get to the chat quickly and then... Let's see. Yeah, look, I was thinking about quitting trading every day for a couple of years. When I, in the beginning. Sometimes I still do, because now I really don't have to work for the rest of my life. So I really don't need any, need any headaches or something. But I just like trading. What, el what, what else would I do? Tesla, uh, I'm going to cover my, if it closes weak, I, I won't cover it a single share today. Like if it goes down to like 14, you know, mid 14, low 14 hundreds today. I'm going to, or maybe like a few hundred shares, but I'll keep like 90% of my position. position. This thing will, I mean, this thing could easily fade back to like 1200s, 1100s, 1000 like this this could be a big like uh, the same way it went up here you see this like it had these small consolidations and it broke out consolidation broke out consolidation broke out consolidation broke out consolidation broke out this one we traded this was a big one for me i made like 700k overnight pretty much um like the same way it's gonna unwind it's gonna go lower build a base Go lower, build a cons you know, consolidate, go lower. So I will add on those like uh, mini flags as long as you know it, shifts, it keeps showing relative weakness and stuff like that. Or like uh, if the market is weak, etc. Or oh, what is this CN? I'll check it later. It looks like a virus stock. Mar oh wait, what? Why is Mark up? I think someone mentioned Marky Mark. I need to check it later. I, I really need to go in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my new car. Uh, let's see if Nasdaq can find support here. It's just you know right at the rising 10 and the rising 20 EMAs on the 60 minute chart. You could very easily find the support here and grind back towards the highs. So we'll see. Tesla is showing relative weakness big time. And, you know, if the market strengthens, uh, obviously, you know, Tesla could very easily not break down. So it depends on the market. But so, so far, it's showing big relative weakness. So. I think the gold uh, ETFs, gold miner ETFs, both the levered and unlevered ones are going to be interesting starting next week. Gold is in a big bull market and you know it could be in a, starting a multi-year bull market. Look at Beely taking out highs. This is showing relative strength. Man, if I had, I, I just can't. I, I don't have the buying power. I or, I'm already long 19 million worth of stock and then a short like 11 million worth of stock. Uh, and you know, let's just say I don't have that kind of overnight buying power, so I need to get rid of a lot of exposure uh, before they close. A lot of exposure.
It's a BMW X5M. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the stream now. I need to eat something and then get the hell out of here. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a great uh, rest of the training day. And I'll see you Monday. Take care.